barton the ranking member of the full committee is recognized for five minutes thank you thank you mr chairman i i listen to your opening statement with great interest as i always do and i sense that you have begun to move somewhat slightly towards the position that i've been espousing so i am going to begin to move somewhat slightly towards the position that you are espousing so we're here but we're now kind of starting the process so i just want you to know that i do listen our speaker former speaker also in his opening statement i think moved i want to submit my written statement opening statement for the record and i'm going to speak extemporaneously for a few minutes because today we're here to talk about cap and trade systems now i'm very skeptical that a cap and trade system would be of any benefit to the uh, true environmental situation and i'm fairly certain that it would be of no benefit in fact it'd probably be a harm to our economy one of the reasons that many people have talked about using a cap and trade system for co2 emissions is because of the success that we had in the mid 90s and continue to have to this day with a cap and trade system for so2 sulfur dioxide there are major differences between those two compounds so2 is a harm to health there are known quantities at which it affects human health uh, prior clean air acts had regulated the amount of so2 emissions we had a health standard that was set by the epa we put the cap and trade program on for so2 in our in the clean air act amendments of 1991 i believe because president bush made a an executive decision that he wanted to cut so2 emissions in half by date certain and the most cost beneficial way to meet that target was to go to a cap and trade well so2 is a known pollutant is a criteria pollutant it is a harm to health we already had regulations on it co2 is not as the speak former speakers point co2 is is a naturally occurring compound uh, there is no quantity that is known to impact health in a negative way there is a theory that in high concentrations in the upper atmosphere it somehow impacts the infrared scale and makes heat less likely or energy less likely to escape the upper atmosphere hence it leads to global warming that's a theory it's not a fact we also know from historical records that co2 concentrations in the past have been much higher so i i dispute that cap and trade for co2 is somehow a good thing because cap and trade for so2 work those are two entirely different solutions situations excuse me having said that today we're going to look at cap and trade and that's a good thing we're also going to uh, begin to look at at solutions that make sense if we agree for whatever reason that we need to lessen the carbon intensity of our economy we have several zero emission electricity generation options available right now one being nuclear power i'm not aware of any group that says uh, a, a nuclear plant uh, is not a, uh, a zero emitter in terms of, of carbon. Well, there's a lot that we can do to accelerate uh, the permitting process and the uh, construction process for new nuclear plants, which is being done everywhere but in the United States. Uh, we could also expand our solar energy issues. We could expand our wind energy. We could accelerate R&D on our hydrogen initiative that the president started several years ago. So there are many, many things that we can do in a positive way to work together uh, to, uh, to begin to move to a less carbon-intense economy in the United States. And so today is the uh, step to look at the cap-and-trade systems. Uh, I hope nobody tries to say that what's been tried in Europe is a positive. I'm going to be very... Uh, um, skeptical if we go down that trail since it's raised wholesale electricity rates in Germany to 30 to 40 percent but having said that mr. chairman um, this is another substantive hearing 
and i am extremely pleased that you and chairman dingell are trying to really develop a positive record about what the true facts are with that i yield back thank you very much mr barton the chair recognizes the gentleman from